the secrets revealed to me, very efficient as plastic surgeons. So was it really plastic surgery? Yeah. Do you ever think about the hidden things beneath the old sand in Egypt? Well, get ready, because we have a puzzling question for you. Could a box that's been around for 3,500 years that was found near the pyramids reveal something mysterious and possibly difficult? Come with us on an exciting adventure as we reveal the most astonishing archaeological findings in Egypt, including this puzzling box that holds an amazing secret. Prepare to discover the mysteries of the pharaohs in our new thrilling video. In the magical lands of Egypt, a story unfolds, revealing the secrets of a civilization lost long ago. Come with us as we explore the mysterious history of this ancient land where the River Nile was crucial for its people. But among the many mysteries surrounding Egypt's past, there is one name that is echoed through time, Tutmose II, a pharaoh whose tomb was believed to be lost forever. Recently, a team of skilled archaeologists from Warsaw University's Institute of Archaeology in Poland made an incredible discovery that would change what we know about the past. In the sprawling grounds of Deir al-Bahari, located near the Nile in Luxor and Karnak, the team found an extraordinary treasure chest. But this was no ordinary box. It was the entrance to the pharaoh's eternal resting place. What's interesting is that this fortunate find wasn't the result of careful planning, but rather a stroke of luck. The box was cleverly hidden amongst debris, and it looked like an ordinary stone block used in ancient construction. The archaeologists were astonished and had to check again to be sure of what they had found. The unassuming stone chest, standing at a modest height and a width of 40 centimeters, held an immeasurable treasure within. With great anticipation, the team cautiously opened the box, revealing a collection of ancient marvels untouched for centuries. Gold and jewels sparkled in the dim light of their torches, bringing to mind a past era filled with luxury, filled with splendor. It was as if time had stopped, preserving the wealth and grandeur of Tutmose II's rule. As we continue on this fascinating journey, we'll uncover the mysteries hidden within this ancient box. Each artifact tells a story, connecting us to a vibrant past of victories and challenges. What might be inside a 3,500-year-old box in Egypt? Scientists were excited to open it and see what mysterious things were hidden inside. When they carefully opened the box, they were amazed by what they found. Wrapped in delicate cloth, several items were revealed. These items, like the remains of a sacrificed goose and precious eggs, were important in ancient Egyptian religious ceremonies. They suggested that there was a deeper meaning and connection to something greater. But the real surprise was yet to come. Next to the stone box, there was a bundle covered in cloth that caught their attention. They carefully unwrapped it and discovered a small, well-preserved wooden box that looked like an ancient Egyptian mortuary chapel. It was a significant piece of evidence that showed its connection to royalty. The box had the name of Pharaoh Tutmose II on it, which reminded everyone of its importance. Inside this wooden box, there were more symbolic treasures that confirmed its link to the deceased Egyptian king. It was clear that a temple or tomb had been built to honor Tutmose II. The pharaohs of old were known for their grand and luxurious resting places like marvelous pyramids. Deir al-Bahari, where this amazing discovery was made, was located in the royal cemetery, which added to the excitement and the mystery for the scientists. But who was Tutmose II, and why was he connected to this ancient box? He ruled for a short time, only three years, from 1476 to 1479 BCE, before he died at the young age of 16. What fascinated people even more was his marriage to his sister, Hatshepsut. In Egyptian royalty, such marriages were not uncommon to maintain power within the family. However, it was Hatshepsut who became famous and even surpassed her husband's rule to become Egypt's first female ruler. As the archaeologists searched for Tutmose II's possible burial place nearby, they encountered an intriguing mystery. Unfortunately, their search didn't bring immediate success. Would further excavation uncover the hidden tomb, or had the king's remains been moved over time? The quest to find Tutmose II's final resting place continued, driven by the desire to make one of the most significant royal discoveries in centuries. Finding Tutmose II's tomb would be as captivating as the famous tomb of Tutankhamun, which amazed the world. But what would happen to Tutmose II's grave if it was found? The archaeologists proceeded with caution, hoping to preserve this ancient wonder for future generations. Inside the sacred chambers of the tomb, countless lessons provided insights into the customs and the way of life of the ancient Egyptians. As they further explore the mysteries of the past, the story of Tutmose II and his hidden tomb unfolds, inviting us to uncover the buried secrets hidden beneath the sands of time. The practice of mummification was a sacred art form to the Egyptians. Today, we're amazed at how well these ancient embalmers preserved the bodies for the afterlife. But how did they do it without modern techniques? 
Recently, archaeologists found something exciting near the ancient city of Memphis. They discovered new information about the mummification process that had been hidden for thousands of years. The site is one of the top 10 archaeological discoveries of the year, and it is very important. Memphis, being Egypt's first capital, naturally became a place where royalty was buried. The city's necropolis had many temples and many tombs. While excavating, the University of Tubingen team found a surprising sixth burial chamber hidden behind an old stone wall. This chamber had been hidden for over 2,600 years. Going deeper into the chamber, the archaeologists found four wooden coffins at the bottom of a 30-meter-deep communal burial shaft. However, time had caused these coffins to decay. Among the decay, one coffin had the name of a woman. This discovery is incredibly significant. It gives us a glimpse into the lives and rituals of the ancient Egyptians and connects us to a civilization that existed thousands of years ago. While exploring the secrets of ancient Egypt, archaeologists made it a puzzling discovery. Normally, the important organs were carefully preserved in four special jars during the embalming process. These jars were protected by the four sons of Horus, highly respected figures. However, in the burial site of a woman, they found not four, but six jars. That finding left them a little bit confused. To solve this mystery, the researchers used advanced technology called computerized tomography, or CT scans. The scans showed that the extra jars contained additional human tissue. This was astonishing because it meant that the woman had been mummified uniquely, preserving not just four, but six of her organs. However, the identity of these extra organs remained a fascinating puzzle that required further analysis and study. But the surprises didn't stop there. As the team carefully examined the inscriptions on the coffins and sarcophagi scattered throughout the site, they made another revelation. It became clear that the woman's resting place was not exclusively hers. Alongside her, there were priests and priestesses devoted to a mysterious deity named Wadjet, who was worshipped as the snake goddess. The customs of the sacred order were uncovered, suggesting a tradition of burying Wadjet priests together, side by side for eternity. Interestingly, the mission also found evidence that Wadjet gained importance during the 26th dynasty. Among the priests and the priestesses, they came across a priestess named Apu and a priest named Chenimit. Surprisingly, these individuals had names commonly associated with the Libyan community that settled in Egypt during the 22nd dynasty. This discovery showcased the diverse mix of cultures in ancient Egypt, where different communities like Greeks, Libyans, Phoenicians, and others coexisted. As the pieces of this fascinating story came together, it became clear that these archaeological findings revealed the rich history of ancient Egypt. The unusual burial of the woman in the presence of priests and priestesses devoted to Wadjet provided a glimpse into the complex network of beliefs and rituals that shaped this remarkable civilization. It served as a reminder that beneath Egypt's golden sands, there are still secrets waiting to captivate our imaginations and discover the hidden tales of its ancient past. The amazing discoveries in ancient Egypt have revealed secrets without causing any harm, which is truly fascinating. Scientists use safe methods to test the artifacts, ensuring that they were preserved. For example, they used a technique called X-ray fluorescence to examine a guided silver mask found on the mummy of a priestess named Wajet. They discovered that the mask was made of incredibly pure silver, even purer than sterling silver. This rare artifact, the first of its kind found in Egypt since 1939 and only the third ever discovered, gives us valuable information about the materials ancient embalmers used. It's an exciting glimpse into the possibility of recreating their ancient embalming process. A team from the University of Tübingen, the University of Munich, and the Egyptian National Research Center in Cairo conducted chemical and medical tests that shed more light on the mummification practices. They analyzed the residues of oils and resins found in cups, bowls, and pots from the mummification workshop. Early findings suggest that the mummification recipe included ingredients like bitumen or tar, cedar oil, cedar resin, pistachio resin, beeswax, animal fat, and possibly olive oil and juniper oil. It's amazing to think about the combination of natural elements and the level of skill used to preserve the bodies of the deceased. While death is a natural part of life, it's very intriguing to explore the diseases it affected ancient Egyptians. The Valley of the Golden Mummies, discovered during an excavation led by Dr. Zahi Hawass at the Bahiria Oasis, provides deep insights into the lives and deaths of these ancient people. A total of 105 well-preserved mummies were found, untouched by grave robbers, giving scientists a wealth of information. These mummies date back to the Greco-Roman times and represent different culture statuses, showing the diversity of ancient Egyptian society. Some mummies were adorned with luxurious gilding, similar to Tutankhamun. Surprisingly, it's believed that the site may contain up to 10,000 mummies, which would take over 50 years to fully excavate. Hawass's team spent two grueling months at the site, 
uncovering various tombs with different architectural styles, including intricate carvings of the Ankh symbol and the widely recognized cross. These tombs, skillfully carved into the rock, hold stories from a forgotten era, waiting to be discovered and shared with the world. Now, hidden deep in an old valley is a huge tomb, the biggest of its kind. It was a special place where one's family memory was kept alive throughout the ages. When the tomb doors opened, archaeologists saw an amazing sight. Inside were 42 mummies carefully placed in large rooms, showing how much respect and honor they received. Step by step, the explorers went further into the tomb, unlocking its mysterious passages. They followed a northern entrance that led to a staircase, which held stories of the past. Beyond that was a small room where mummies were prepared before their final journey into the afterlife. Just imagine the feelings in the air as the deceased were gently laid to rest in the burial hall. The hall was shaped like a rectangle, showing the ancient rituals followed a specific order and a structure. But what really fascinated the researchers were the seven spaces on the walls, each with its own prominent story. One mummy, dressed like a queen, wore a golden mask and a cobra symbol on her forehead. Her chest was protected by a cartonage shield painted in a beautiful shade of yellow, showing the four sons of Horus. Another mummy was carefully wrapped in linen with intricate designs and placed in a wooden coffin. At her feet stood a wooden sculpture called a shtel, which represented the entrance to the world of the dead. As the expedition continued, the different ways the mummies were prepared amazed the archaeologists. Some mummies were completely wrapped in linen and cartonage, creating vibrant colors like living tapestries. Others had gypsum masks carefully placed to preserve the appearance of the deceased. Masks decorated with golden scenes of gods suggested divine protection in the journey beyond. Among all of these wonders, some mummies were simply wrapped in linen without cartonage or masks, keeping their essence in its purest form. But the treasures in the tomb were not limited to the mummies alone. Offerings were placed alongside them to accompany their spiritual journey. There were wine, sweet dates, and figs, and simple foods like beans and olives carefully chosen as gifts for their eternal souls. These honored spirits were also given objects from their everyday lives, precious items to help them in the afterlife. Jewelry, statues, and even bronze coins were carefully positioned in their hands, as payment to the ferrymen who would guide them to the next phase of their journey. With all of these amazing discoveries, the researchers started asking questions. What caused the diseases that afflicted these souls and still affects us today? The x-ray machine helped reveal their struggles, showing evidence of illnesses like cancer. But even amidst the sadnesses, there were signs of wealth and luxury in their lives. It was believed that the prosperous wine trade in Baharia had given them the resources to face death with extravagance. As the team took a few mummies for further study, they agreed to let the rest of them be undisturbed. This would honor the eternal sleep of those noble souls. The tombs, which were a sacred reminder of a past era and held captivating mysteries, should be preserved as they were. They serve as a reminder of the beauty and the fragility of life. In the heart of Egypt, there are secrets hidden in the sands, waiting to be discovered and to capture our imagination. This is just a small glimpse into the ancient history that stretches across time, showing the everlasting fascination of the land of the pharaohs. So, the Egyptians were very skilled at burying people in very special ways, especially those who were important in life. It's not surprising that the amazing things discovered in this North African country usually have to do with the world of the dead. Let's go back to a time in the 1950s when something incredible was found with great ceremony and excitement. A ship called the Khufu ship appeared after being buried for 5,000 years under the sandy ground around the Great Pyramid of Khufu. When it was unearthed, everyone was amazed by the incredible way that it was built and how well it was preserved. This interesting story starts with an Egyptian engineer named Kamalak. He accidentally found something valuable while cleaning up the area. At first, he thought it was just normal rubble, but then it turned out to be the covers of two carefully made holes where these amazing ships were kept. As they explored more of the Giza Plateau, they discovered the Great Pyramid of Khufu had even more secrets. There were three more boat-shaped holes carved into the rock, waiting to be uncovered. Two of these special holes were next to the temple where people mourned the dead, one on the south side and one on the north side. The third hole was hidden on the path leading north to the Great Pyramid of Khufu. Once the ships were carefully dug out, an Egyptian restorer named Haj Ahmed Yosef had the difficult job of fixing and restoring them. The Khufu ship was truly amazing and impressed everyone who saw it. It was an incredible 43.4 meters long, 5.9 meters wide at its widest point, and 1.78 meters deep. The front of the ship, shaped like a papyrus plant, was 6 meters high, and the back was an impressive 7 meters high. There were 10 strong oars, 5 on each side, between 6.5 and 8.5 meters long. These oars were used to row the ships in the past. Inside the ship, there were rooms for the main crew and the captain, giving us a glimpse into what life was like on the ship. 
Surprisingly, the ship was not held together with metal nails, but with expertly woven ropes. This incredible find weighed an astonishing 45 tons, which makes us admire and respect the ancient shipbuilders even more. Even today, the modern shipbuilders were amazed at how they could build such a huge ship without the tools that we have now. The Khufu ship shows us how, yes, clever and skilled these ancient people were, and it reminds us of a time that, well, is long past. But this boat had a much greater purpose than just being a way to carry a dead king's preserved body to special places like Habitos and Boto. People believed that this amazing ship had a special power, a connection to the gods themselves. It was called the Solar Boat and the Ship of Khufu, and it sailed through the sky, guiding the soul of the dead king to eternal life. Imagine the sun god, Ra, rising from the eastern shore, being greeted by playful monkeys and starting his journey through the heavens. During the day, Ra's ship traveled across the sky, carrying him until sunset. He would then transition to his night ship, waiting for him in the underworld. Recently, the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities faced a massive challenge, moving the Khufu ship to its new home in the amazing Grand Egyptian Museum. They spent months carefully planning, organizing workshops, and seeking advice to make sure the ship was safely transported. The ship's great value in helping us understand ancient Egypt and its deep connection to life after death made all that hard work worthwhile. I mean, what secrets might this old ship reveal about the pharaoh's spiritual beliefs and rituals? And what fascinating things can we learn from their preservation? What do you think? Let us know in the comment section down below.